You are listening to KS3 podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about broadband in India. Source for the content is Pankaj Doval's article for the Times of India. Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, the world's two richest businessmen, are set to take on Airtel Sunil Mittal and Reliance Jio's Mukesh Ambani in the high-speed broadband and internet space as they have approached the Indian government with separate plans to offer satellite-based internet connectivity. Musk's satellite internet venture Starlink and Amazon have held separate consultations with the Telecom Ministry as well as the Department of Space for starting satellite-based internet services in India, though they are yet to apply for a license through the formal route. Consultants representing the companies have had discussions with us and have indicated that they are keen to offer internet services in India using a constellation of satellites. We expect them to apply for the license very soon, a telecom department source said. Currently, OneWeb, where Mittal's Bharti Global holds the largest stake and has a partner such as the UK government, has publicly announced plans of launching satellite-based services in India by next year, also launching across other global geographies. OneWeb has received a national long-distance NLD license from the telecom department. The plan of the companies is to offer large swathes of bandwidth with the speeds as high as 1 Gbps and even more through low-Earth orbit satellites that would be deployed at a distance of around 1,000 kilometers from Earth. The bandwidth would then be sold to a variety of users or customers that will include business enterprises, railways, shipping companies, defence establishments, airlines and telecom companies, thus directly competing with the likes of Airtel and Geo. Also, these services can be used to reach dark zones in rural areas as well as difficult terrains such as deserts and mountainous regions and those infested with naxals and other sensitive locations. The telecom department source said that companies will have to follow the guidelines stipulated for telecom services as and when they begin services. All the mandates, including those around lawful interception and other security needs, will need to be adhered to as per the licensing conditions. Musk has said publicly that his company is keen to come to India through his ambitious project, Starlink, and is studying government regulations for beginning services. Just figuring out the regulatory approval process, he had uh, told a user recently when asked about the India plans. In fact, Starlink has appointed Sanjay Bhargav, a founding employee of PayPal, where Musk was amongst the co-founders, as country director for India. Bhargav, who joins the company, had said on his LinkedIn page a few days back, and I quote him here, Super excited to join SpaceX effective 1st of October 2021 as Starlink country director India. Amazon, also a top online retailer in India, is looking to step into the satellite-based internet service in the country. The company, as per sources, feels that a bigger footprint in India through high-speed broadband will help it reach a wider online audience, which can also be another enabler for its retail business. Amazon will get its services in India through its Project Kuiper program, which is engaged in launching low-Earth orbit satellites to cover the entire globe. Recently, Mittal's OneWeb and American Hughes Network entered into a Memorandum of Understanding for a strategic agreement to distribute internet services to large enterprises, small and medium businesses, government, telcos and ISP, that is internet service providers, in rural and remote parts of the country. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG India courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksgindia.com. Thanks for listening.